rapper is so good. I just can't. He added so much to your set. I'm probably get really mad and offended. Like, I thought it was a thing. Shut up. Shut up. <laughs> so, so are we talking like he's gonna come down the stairs and we're gonna just bring this on him? Yeah, yeah. totally. Oh, you're gonna rush him. <laughs> oh, you're gonna what? She's gonna groupie rush him like. Yeah. You're gonna groupie I love rush your him. Set. I love like, your set. Oh my god. <laughs> Aaron Gordon here from Free Scott Jam. We're here with Bree. Oh my god. We caught her set earlier. She had a cover tonight and it was country. How, how did you feel like this room went for you tonight? How was the show? Yeah. I actually thought it was probably first time I got to perform my new single. It was. Yeah, so because my voice coming out of laryngitis just before the tour started, yeah. I was saving it because it's very high. It was so fucking good tonight. Thank you. Yeah, so yeah, so we were on the first day of the tour in Victoria and and like I've had conversations with her about like, oh you're talking about maybe doing some band stuff. And then I all I saw of her the first night was she was in the ticket booth. <laughs> And then she didn't play a set. And I was like, I'm sorry, there's a beautiful, talented woman selling Whoa. tickets working the door. I got complimented and then, for how pleasant I was. Are you so, sick of us yet? No. She's Thank God, us. Jesus. <laughs> but no, but seriously, like, I was like, what's going on? And then, yeah, so like, you're here, you, you battled laryngitis, and you still came out on tour, and you sold tickets. So that right yeah. there just is working. I'm serious about music, and I'm serious about my career in music. Yeah, we're not here to mess around. Not it's not about around. party. I took care of my voice. I rested it and took that one night off because I felt like I really wanted to save it for the Vancouver audience and the Vancouver venue, which I'm super happy I did because that show was amazing. I wish I got to do a little bit of a longer set. Considering I just was my first show out of laryngitis and getting my voice back, I didn't really have a lot of time to do a lot of vocal warm-ups. You sounded amazing. Yeah, and none of us, none of us would have been like, oh, oh she told me. You guys didn't believe me that I had oh, laryngitis for like the first days. You're like, no. wait, are you serious? Like, I'm not joking. Okay. Let's talk about the tour. I mean, you made, you made a, a decent sum of money to be here. You were, um... Like, you know, you're told about a, a, a feature episode, and as the cameraman who has not been told anything about this, yeah. uh, it's a confusing but, uh, thing. So, I mean, you paid money to be here. What were your expectations in Victoria? Um, I wasn't so expecting a show. And then through the show, I think we're I mean, look at our poster, it's got this really nice looking camera on it. Like, yeah, not to negate you guys. Is no, and absolutely not. Like, absolutely not. At all. Um, but the expectation was there. But you guys have been on the bus with us, and there's been some pivotal really moments that were magic moments, that dramatic moments that have happened that could have been captured if there was cameras. But the whole relying on using our cell phones to film ourselves was a little bit. Well, we're artists. We're 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 yeah, all in the moment people. Yeah, we're busy to do a million things. Like I have to I get in the zone. I have a process before I, I do a show. There's things that I have to do for me, and I need to be in a good space. I can't be doing a million other things and rushing and focused on other things when I have to put on a show and entertain people. Especially if there's drama going on in the background. I mean, suddenly, even if you're about to to. You know, you're ready to be in tears. You have to go on stage. You have to put on a good face because if you put on a crap show in front of these people, yeah. that's on you. That's on your name. Exactly. And, and we all obviously we know how that feels. So, yeah. you know, it was pretty rocky. So you got there, there's no film crew. This isn't there, that's not there. You're not going to sing. What else went through your mind? Um, I was just at that moment taking it all in and just seeing what was going to happen and how things were going to go down. What does this mean for me? Yeah, I mean, I just was, I wasn't sure, I thought maybe there was other things, I was also told there was going to be all these surprises and, and twists and turns along the way that were planned, and it's just been chaotic. Is there any elaboration to that, or is that all no, you heard? that's all I heard. It was like, there's a lot of surprises that will happen along the way, like, you think that to, to cause some drama, or to be good reality TV, you think, like, oh, some, they're going to throw something at me, but it's been just pretty, all of us chilling and trying to do our thing and dealing with the chaos of it all. So what if I said to you that the chaos is what they're throwing at us? Is it it's intentional, you think? What, what if that's the show? <laughs> what if we're here to go through an absolute shit show and to see how we handle it as people and musicians and professionals? That's trippy. That's a trippy that's way trippy. to look at it. So you're saying maybe you're trying to cause drama? You think I'm the mastermind now? Maybe. <laughs> oh, I was actually going, going for Mark, but... Yeah, we'll take it. Yeah, we'll take Mark, anything. Camera right here, my friend. Straight, <laughs> straight, on, straight on the record. I, I don't think, think Mark is smart to enough ever. to be the mastermind to pull that off. Say it one more time. I don't think Mark is smart enough to be the mastermind to pull that off. 
some bold words. So are you admitting that you're the one trying to cause the drama? I am not. I am the one who wants to make sure that nothing is missed and so much has been missed. You're so amazing! Yeah. But even us, but even us oh. getting it. You guys were awesome. Thank you, thank you. You guys were too. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna go and check them out soon because we have like, so camera come closer. We have a scheme. You can see it on Bree's top. <laughs> I'm kidding, come on! You you perverse. So there's a scheme. Well, you covered up. I saw your hands go there. I knew it was <laughs> I got skills. I got skills. <laughs> uh, so we've got a little bit of a scheme. We're going to play that out there right now, and then we're going to continue this interview. Okay, good. You scared well, me. Yeah. You scared me. All right. I'm like nervous because he's going to see the camera, and he's going to know that it was a plan. I'm going to stay right here. You go. You go. You guys did such a good set. I'm saying, man, I'm not gonna lie, you guys did good. Yeah. That was a dope set. I love the sound. You did that, man, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Is that like the goal? Yeah. 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 Yeah
So the four of us, minus Sam, uh, are getting our own hotel because we are like, fuck this, and we're not chancing bed bugs and dirty things. And the other thing that freaks me out about the place is they have a do not let in list. Mm -hmm. Now, being that there's people who would you know come to a hotel maybe once and never come back, how do you have a do not come in list? They have to frequent the place to have a do not come in yeah. list. Well, guys, tomorrow like, they how said ridiculous is they're that? firing the housekeeper. So hopefully, fresh blankets and you know someone that actually knows how to clean a room. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Or maybe they just don't. They clean told the room him. And they just like when they reported the sheets, oh, they house told house him, house. "We'll tell the new housekeeper in the morning we're firing that one." Like. That doesn't, doesn't even make help. sense. <laughs> Which crazy. is just yeah. service anyway. So we're That's waiting for a cab fun. with our luggage to head to another hotel, and then we feel bad for this kid. Everybody else. <laughs> Sorry, Samson. Everybody else that's <laughs> choosing to stay <laughs> here. Yeah. So got, we'll 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 see. New pillowcases though, so that's a plus <laughs> side. <laughs> you know what I? You need to, like, and the other like, thing is, is that salt. while we're yeah. here waiting to get our cab. There was a family who came, two, uh, well, two vehicles and uh, two families who came in. They went to their rooms and then instantly, like within five minutes, left their rooms, took their kids, packed them up. It's like two in the morning, yeah. and they, they went. Out of here. They went and got their a refund and got out of here. Like two people in the last, yeah. let's say, thirty minutes that we've been here, have asked for their money back. This is a wonderful place. This is to a be. gem of a place. So, yeah, we're we're Olympia. so thrilled. We're through. so thrilled we were brought here. The gold mine of Olympia. Yeah. We, even before we got here, we were so we were joking about it, like. Yeah, man, just I'm just like not chancing that. It's not happening. It's not happening. So. We will we'll find out. Samuel, we'll find out in the morning. We will find out uh, if there's any bed bug bites. I'll, I'll definitely show you guys. <laughs> oh, you'll, you'll you'll be like you'll have like collagen. Oh. You'll, you'll, like, duck lips. <laughs> <laughs> you'll be seeing your hometown uh, with duck lips because right. you'll be all swollen uh, from the bed bugs. Uh, <laughs> I don't think I'm going to sleep tonight. Maybe just go for a little stroll into the morning. 